What's up guys, Travis with Chaparral Motorsports. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I wash and maintain my dirt bike. Now it's really important to keep your bike clean because it helps extend the life of a lot of your components and it's also a good time to check and see if anything's broken, missing, or needs to be replaced. Now I understand there's multiple ways of washing a dirt bike. This is how I like to do it. So if you pick up any tips along the way, that's what we're looking for. It just started raining, so let's get this thing washed so we can head to the track. Now before we jump into things, I just wanna make a quick little note because I hear it from my wife all the time. Why are you washing the bike before you go and riding? Well, like I've mentioned before, it's a maintenance thing. So it's always good to get your bike dialed before you take it to the track. So let's get started. Here's some of the things I like to use to get my bike wash done. First off, a pressure washer, um, an air compressor, exhaust plugs, an air box cover, a stand, a nylon brush, some 3M scrub pads, and some microfiber towels. As far as cleaning products go, you can head to shapmoto.com, check out a wide variety of what we carry. I'm gonna show you a couple ways of how to do it with household products. Now all we've got left to do is to get to work. Now before you turn the water on, make sure your exhaust is plugged. If you don't have an exhaust plug, you can always use a rag or some duct tape to cover the hole. Now your seat is mostly made of foam, so if you keep it on while you wash the bike, it's gonna absorb all that water and deteriorate over time. With your seat removed, you can now check out your air filter. Now if your air filter is in okay shape and you feel like you can ride on it one more time, I've seen guys put plastic bags over it with a towel over that and you can continue washing. I prefer an air box cover. So I'm gonna remove the air filter and apply the air box cover. A few things to keep in mind when you're spraying your bike down. Stay clear of graphic edges. You don't want those to lift because if they lift with water, they're really not going back down. Your air box, don't go sticking the hose directly into the air box trying to clean it out. If it's dirty inside, spray it down and wipe it with a rag. And I'd stay clear of your levers as well. You don't want to get any water up in here. Now that the exhaust is plugged and the air box is covered, we're going to take the bike off its stand and lay it on its side. So now that the bike's laid over and we got underneath the fenders and under the skid plate washed, it's a good time to either remove the skid plate if you have one, because dirt does seem to get in between the skid plate and the cases, so that's the time to clean it all up. Now that we have the skid plate removed, this is a good time to clean underneath the cases. And like I mentioned before with the things you'll need, is some 3M scrub pads. Now this is the most common one you're gonna see in the store, is a green scrub pad. I prefer the red, it's a little bit more fine and it's for metal use. Once you're done scrubbing, be sure to rinse it all off. Now that I've got the bike back up on the stand, we can finish washing it. And what I like to do now is spray some soap on the plastics and some cleaner onto the chain. When cleaning my wheels, I like to spray some Simple Green onto a rag and then wipe it throughout the rim on both sides. Be sure to spray it off afterwards. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's always good to wash your bike because if you ever need to replace something, it's the time to do it. As you can tell, I run grip tape on my frame just for a little bit better grip when riding. Um, this is the general area where you're gonna find black scuff marks from your boots. So if you don't have any grip tape, now's the time to grab one of those uh, 3M Scotch-Brite pads and scrub away on the frame because that's gonna help remove that black stuff. Now that the plastics are clean and the frame is buffed, it's time to go back and wash off the chain cleaner that we sprayed on earlier. And the reason we did that is we really wanted that stuff to saturate the chain so we can get all the guard or the wax that may be on it from the time before. After that's all said and done, it's time to start up the air compressor. 
to blow off all the excess water that may be on the bike. For those who will be using an air compressor to blow off the excess water after you're done washing it, there are a few key areas that you're going to want to address. The radiators, they tend to hold a lot of water when washing the bike, as well as the chain. And you're not going to want to forget to blow out the bearings and seals in your wheels. After you blow off all the excess water, grab your microfiber rag and wipe her down. When you finish wiping the bike dry, it's always good to add some type of silicone product. Now what that's going to do is moisturize your plastics. I prefer using Maxima SC1 or some 1.7 pre-ride treatment. What this is going to do is keep your plastics looking new. The plastics are conditioned, so let's put the seat on. And since I mentioned to wash the bike without the seat, now is the time to clean it. It's just easier to clean the seat when it's actually in place. And you can just throw some soap um, and water on a rag and wipe it down. There you have it. There's one way to wash and maintain a dirt bike. Don't forget to lube your chain, and if your air filter needs to be replaced, do so. For any more details, refer to your owner's manual. Again, I'm Travis with Chaparral Motorsports. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time.